talking to anybody today who's in a position where you've been giving it your absolute all and at the end of the day you feel like you're drained and don't have anything to count towards what you've done at all. I'm talking about somebody who has been a called or assigned to preach there, to sing there, to work there, to serve there, and still at the end of the day you take nothing from there uh, because really your heart wasn't even there. I'm talking to somebody who can relate in the truest form that, Doc, I, I feel you on this one. I feel like I've just been showing up just to show up. I've just been doing it just to do it. I'm talking to anybody who's not sick, sick of, of it, it. I'm, I'm just, just tired, tired in it. I wanted to look at uh, a few stories in the Bible on tonight, but... I think my patience is tapped out and I think your tolerance is too because there's so many people that want to talk to you about the Bible but never relate to you in scripture. You, you got to be able to find yourself in the text and identify that it's more than just a sentence or a structure of a statement. It is personal. Imagine going somewhere for 12 years. 12 years and finding yourself bleeding to death. And I know for some people that may be a little bit far off, but let me see if I can reach you on tonight. You've been working there, and at the end of the term, when it comes time for retirement, that you're struck in with an ailment or an illness, it is they have nothing to offer you. She's being bled to death. I'm talking to somebody who raised the kids. When it comes time for the kids to come and check on you, you can't even get them on the phone. I'm talking about being bled to death. I'm talking to anybody who's been giving it their absolute all, tr trying to maintain your sanity and your serenity, and it comes time for you to ever ask for anything, need anything, a ask for help in, in anything. You, you, you are alone being bled to death. I'm talking about a doctor who needs a physician himself. I'm, I'm talking about a nurse who needs somebody to come see about her. I'm, I'm talking about a teacher who can't get anybody to help teach her. I'm, I'm talking to anybody who's not sick of it, just tired in it. It says that she was bleeding for 12 years. And you mean to tell me nobody saw it? I'm talking about having close friends looking at you going through. And don't nobody come check on you. Don't nobody really text you for you. I'm, I'm talking about being in a place where God, I'm not sure how I should feel about it because it's been 12 years. It's been a long time. I, I cannot speak to your journey. I cannot speak to what you have come but through. But I know for anybody who can relate that it's been a long time that I, I need you to know that many times you'll find yourself coming out of it um, but realizing that on the verge of breakthrough, it was only you. You, you got to know that your journey is personal and your route that you're on. God placed you on many times to be not segregated, just separated. You, you, you know that you are separately called because of what you handle on the inside of you. You can't contain it. That's why it bleeds outside of you. I'm talking about you love them, but they act like they don't even like you. It's that it's bleeding on the inside to the outside of you. You 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 wear your heart on your sleeves and that's okay. Don't don't forfeit what it is that God called you to be loving and, and be nice and, and be kind just because people next to you want to be hateful and enemy influence on tonight. I need to tell you that you are purposed for something bigger than you. That's why it bleeds out of you. I'm talking to give us on tonight that that, that you give because you go cooking. You you give because you clean the house. You you give because you take care of the kids. And and anytime you need a break, you can't find one. You, you bleeding on the inside. Uh, but I need you to know that on tonight, when we pick up in the text, it is that she is. The Bible says that she comes up from behind him. And she's able to get close enough to him. But then there's a break. And I'm, I'm not really sure what happened in the text that makes it a break. Uh, other than that... Uh, 
when we pick up back at the story, she's at her breakthrough. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what happened in your life that come uh, bring you, that brought you to these circumstances to feel like you're about to break or fall apart. I don't know what happened before the the, the, the before and, and, and the between, but I can talk to somebody tonight about the after. I'm, I'm not sure where the through came, where you felt like you was done with it, couldn't handle no more of it, wasn't sure how you was going to get through it. I don't know what you've been at, how you've been told to give up, how you've been should have let go, how you should have put them out and said no, but I'm telling somebody on tonight that you're on the break, on the verge, on the edge. I can't get nobody excited with me. I'll be excited for myself. Jeremiah, you are on the break of a breakthrough. You you on the verge of a breakthrough. You, you on the edge of a breakthrough. You are right at the tip end at the tip end of a breakthrough and I know that she's on the verge of it watch this now because right before we get to her story there's a little girl who's 12 years old you, you got to know on tonight that the assignment over your life was bigger than you. That's why you faced the challenges that you went through when you were younger than what you are now. You, you got to know that God was leading you and guiding you, but he was He was protecting you. That's why he had his hand on you. Ne never forget that God led you through elementary. Then never forget that he took you through uh, high school. Never forget he took you all the way through college. Every place that you will put yourself to say that maybe some places I was alone. You got to realize even on tonight on your own that God never left you alone, but he was there riding and walking, uh, carrying you along on the way. I know that she was in the middle of the text. It is now. She was in the middle of it and got the breakthrough at the end of it. I only came on tonight to tell somebody that it does not matter where you are. Don't, don't matter what you saw, what you thought, what you've been looking at. It, it, it really don't matter what they say. Hear me on tonight. You, you got to know that you are at the middle of your ending. You, you, you got to know that the end is coming. I'm talking about the end of being in debt and depressed about it. I'm, I'm talking about being at the end of a dead end road, trying to find out how are you going to make it out? Can God get you out? Is the work uh, going to work out? You got to know that you're at the middle of the end of it. You, you, you are right on the edge of it. And I know this because she's only one press away. She's only one drop away. She's only one conversation away. You got to know on tonight that you're one prayer. You're, you're one praise. You're, you're one shout. You are a one word away. And I notice here in the text that he's headed to the soldier's uh, house to heal the little girl who's 12 years old, but who's caught with unbelieving parents. She died because of the doubt that was in the room. So, so when a lady comes in and breaks text, she says, it don't matter what is going to happen in my past. I, I know every place that they doubted me, I'll believe for myself and know that she bled all the way to him. You, you got to know I'm a bleeding believer. I, 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 I I believe in the blood. I believe in the blood that was shed for me where folk wouldn't believe me. God bled, bled for me. I am a bleeding believer. I'm one who believed that even though I was a wretch in my sin, that he, he who knew none became some and came in it to save me out of it. I'm just a bleeding believer. And for anybody who had doubt on today, tell, tell your naysayers, tell, tell your haters, tell, tell your supporters who, who talk bad about you behind your back, but want to smile in your face. It don't matter what you say it don't matter what what you believe it don't matter how you feel about it i'm just a bleeding believer i'm i'm somebody who's blood bought and i i am born again by everything that was the remission of his blood for my sins i'm just a bleeding believer and i only came on tonight to testify for tomorrow's turn for somebody's coming out of their storm on today not only are you at the beginning not only are you in the middle not only are you at the end of it but you are walking away from it i gotta tell you that you're getting up walking away from this you you're walking away from being sad all the time. You're walking away from being it down with worry. You're walking away from living check to check and month to month and week to week. God has something bigger and better for you. But watch this now. It's connected to the hymn. There's some stuff you 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 got to praise your way out of. There's there's some stuff you just got to sing until it gets better. You you got to begin to put a tune in your mouth and a tone in your word and say, God, I, I don't know how, but I believe that, that you're going to find a way 
I, I'm not sure who gonna pay it, but I just know that he is a payer of anything that is overdue and underpaid. I I believe him to be a way maker. That's that that's what Travis said. He said he's he's a way maker. He didn't say it like that. He said a little bit better. But I came on today to tell you the story of the Bible that he he formed it and then he made a way for it and then he came and looked at it, said it wasn't good and then he died for it. I, I don't know where you at in it, but I just need to tell you on today he created you and then he formed you and then he made a way for you and so before you come to die to yourself know that God already died for you so you ain't gotta die for nobody not even for your doubt I ain't dying for it not even for your worry I ain't dying for it not even for your stress it can it can be the test that wanna take me out but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna die for it I'm just a bleeding believer who believes that he bled for me so I ain't gotta bleed for y'all